Hi everyone, I'm Marina Goncharenko, a realtor in Florida, and today I'm going to give you a tour of some of the most prestigious beach towns in America. On the Florida Panhandle, two of the most popular cities familiar to most are Destin and Panama City Beach. Right in the middle lies County Road 30A, which stretches about 17 miles along some of the prettiest coastline in Florida. All along this road are beautiful beach towns, with some becoming world famous for their unique design and vision. We will start our tour on the east end of 30A with Rosemary Beach, which was established 28 years ago in 1995. This is one of three new urbanism communities running along this road. New urbanism resembles a charming European town where the priorities are walking friendly neighborhoods with convenience to restaurants, shopping and public green spaces. A perfect place to work and play. Being situated on what is often referred to as the Emerald Coast with white sand beaches and wraparound porches, this created the opportunity for people to live and own a slice of heaven, easily accessible in our own backyard. A unique attribute to this area is the elevation. The elevation of Rosemary Beach is 30 feet, which is very high for the coast. This stretch of coastline between here and Destin is the highest in the state of Florida. Most homes and beach access points have stairs that lead you down to the shore. This creates a beautiful and unique view. It's decorated with beautiful dunes and there are more homes on the beach than anywhere else in the state. There are so many diverse, beautiful homes lining the shore with incredible designs and neutral color palettes, making this one of the prettiest coastlines in the world. The Eastern Green is also used as a wedding venue and both Eastern and Western Greens are a great place to park your bike when you go to the beach. Bikes are a very popular way to get around. There are sidewalks connecting us to everything, making every home walking distance to the beach. The beach access points are gated and require a gate code only known to residents and their guests. In the center of town is Barrett Square. Main Street is full of character and charm. It's a perfect setting for outdoor dining, exploring and relaxing. The atmosphere is incredible and much slower paced. The area is also very family friendly. Many of the homes have pools and spread out throughout the community are five swimming pools. Rosemary Beach is very thoughtfully planned out and executed. It leaves an impression on everyone who visits. Just west of Rosemary Beach is Alice Beach. Having the same roots in new urbanism, as soon as you enter, it feels very different. It reminds most people of Greece. All the buildings are white and they accent the beauty of the environment very well. 
This is the last community to be developed along 30A and construction is in full swing. With all the buildings being white, the colors that really stand out are the sky and water. With such a unique contrast, Alice Beach also puts a very unique stamp on the coast. The gardens and landscaping is some of the best I've seen and it ties in to the dunes and natural greenery all around. It seems like every square inch is picturesque. The sidewalks are a piece of art, and all homes are walking distance to the shore. There are a couple of swimming pools and also great dining and shopping options. West of Alice Beach is Seacrest. This area has a mix of condominiums and homes on the shore. There are a lot of older homes and brand new ones all throughout with new ones dominating the horizon. On the western end, there are a mix of homes with a Hamptons feel. Many of these neighborhoods are gated and remain hidden gems. They have amazing views of the Gulf and Camp Creek Lake with its beautiful dunes. On the other side of the lake is Water Sound. Water Sound is a private gated community made up of several neighborhoods. Its architecture is similar to that of Cape Cod and other harbor towns in the North Atlantic. There are many walking trails and the village is surrounded by two lakes, perfect for kayaking fishing, and paddle boarding. Like most gated communities, the amenities are bountiful. In the middle is the Water Sound Club with two pools and indoor-outdoor dining area. It is so beautiful and to the west and north is the Deer Lake State Park, letting us capture and enjoy this natural beauty. A few miles away, we have the Camp Creek Golf Course. An award-winning course, which is recognized as one of the best in the country. Around the course, there are many things in the works that will further elevate life for residents and guests. Further north, we have another community, Water Sound Origins, with a more family-friendly course and more homes nestled in the forest.
West of Water Sound is Seagrove Beach. Similar to Seacrest, there are a mixture of older and newer homes. There are many fairy tale homes and what seems like lifelong dreams becoming realities. Further west is Seaside. Seaside was the first new urbanism community established in 1981, 14 years before Rosemary Beach. This was the first of its kind, where the emphasis is a simple, beautiful life, where walking is more convenient than driving. On Saturdays, we have the farmer's market with local produce and a lot of food trucks to try. It's a great place to picnic and lounge around. And everywhere you go, you feel the golf breeze. In the central square, there are various events held throughout the year. And this is the heartbeat of the town. West of Seaside is Grayton Beach State Park and Grayton Beach. Another beautiful lake area with beautiful nature all around. Next to it is Blue Mountain Beach, which has the highest elevation on the coast. For the next five miles, there are several small beach towns, and there's a lot of new construction everywhere. It's exciting to see what these areas will become. Thank you for watching, and if you would like more information on this area, or would like my help buying or selling your next home, my contact information will be down in the description below.